Uh, this model kit review is of the Vought F4U Corsair, the World War II plane. It's a 172nd scale model by Ravel. And here are the dimensions. And uh, there's some details there about the uh, plane. Very small writing. And uh, let's have a look inside. We'll take a look at our sprues. So we have our clear plastic sprue here, and that's actually quite nicely molded. Quite a good level of detail there. Over here we have our um, right fuselage. We've got some recessed panel lines, and uh, it looks like that's our instrument panel there, and maybe cockpit part of the cockpit here. Here's our elevator, and tips of the wings. We've got our engine with some nice detail there. Uh, this is the underside of the wing with the gun ports already cut out. Uh, the uh, radiator intakes. Uh, not really any detail on the inside of this uh, fuselage. That's our uh, tail hook, tail uh, wheel over there. And we've got some uh, bombs here, or fuel, fuel tanks actually. These look like fuel tanks. And we've got our wheels. Quite nicely molded, good level of detail, pretty crisp and clean. Here we've got our propeller, standard propeller there with some exhaust parts. That's actually very nicely molded. And then uh, our engine cowling, I guess you can have it open as well. And there's our crankshaft. Now over here is our wing, the top part of the wing. Actually you've got some nice detail here, very nicely molded. Here's our rudder. There's the uh, front of the, or the top of the nose. Uh, those are our wheel wells, also nicely molded. There's the uh, second row of cylinders for the engine. We've got some detail here on the inside of the uh, wheel well covers. And uh, that looks like that's the tail wheel cover there. The uh, sides of the cockpit. So that's actually all pretty detailed and well molded. It's good clean molding. We'll have a look at our decals and instructions. So here are our decals. Lots of detail here with the decals. Very nicely molded there. And uh, here's some details about the uh, plane. Let's have a look through our instructions. We've got some details here on the colors needed. Lots of mixing going on here on different colors. Here is the parts listing here. And we start off with the cockpit there. Shows you how to, uh, where to put the decal there. Um, firewall, control column, and so on. The seat, that all gets mounted to the inside of the fuselage. And uh, with the fuselage halves together, along with the uh, firewall for the engine. Our wings start to uh, get put together here, as well as the uh, radiators. And then the uh, wings are mounted to the fuselage. Tips of the wings go on, as well as uh, our rudder and our uh, elevator. We build our engine now. That's all mounted to the fuselage, as well as our cowling. And uh, little exhausts there. There's the top of the nose going on. Our tail hook, or tail or wheel, sorry. Then we've got our uh, wheel well covers. That's if it's open. Our main landing gear is then um, put together there. And we've got our fuel tanks, wheel well covers. And those were quite nicely uh, molded. 
shows you uh, wheel well covers going on the uh, front of the landing gear and our canopy goes on as well as around our antenna you can either have it open or closed and then uh, our uh, propeller goes on here is the uh, decal and paint guide for one version this is from 1943 Here's another version from 1944. The previous one was the uh, Marines. This is U.S. Navy. And lots of uh, decal detail here. So that is very nice. So, all in all, um, very well molded, good clean molding and uh, recessed lines, good detail for the wheel well and cockpit and also some good detail so that's a great kit